Hey, thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I want to show this beautiful book. It is an altered book that my mother made. And I just, it's so beautiful. It turned out so nice. I just had to film it to give you guys some inspiration for something for you to try and to show you her beautiful work. So she started with a string bound book. And at the places where, um, where the signatures came and you could see the string, she moved about 50% of the pages from the book. She put her pages together in sets and then she created a tunnel book. So there's circles that go from big to small to create a tunnel inside. So let's start with the outside and let me show you this beautiful cover. She made this, um, she watched a video on how to make these pretty bookmarks. So look at this beautiful bookmark with dangles and it is just super pretty and it's got butterflies on it. She had this um, this lace. It's almost like a antique lace with some tatted edge. That's tatting along the edge. And this, so this whole piece is a linen piece that had the tatting in between and on the edge. She had this trim with buttons on it and this trim. This is a uh, laser cut wooden die that she put on the front. This is a plastic button, it doesn't look like it, that's gold that she used a Dremel to cut the back off and put that on the front. Here's a little piece of uh, cloisonne jewelry that she cut the back off of and made this beautiful butterfly mandala motif. She covered the rest of the book in this material that's just like a tapestry material. So look at that beautiful, beautiful cover. I love how she did her cover. Okay, so let's go inside and see her gorgeous tunnel book. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. When she showed it to me, I just knew I had to make a video to show this off because you guys are just going to flip. This is so cool. So she took this butterfly picture on the cover. She covered this with scrapbook paper and she took this out of a, out of a magazine. I think probably a Birds in Bloom this first page, she did a window page like I show on a lot of my videos where she put her sets of paper together, her book pages together, and then created the circle, put the plastic in between, and created a beautiful window. So her tunnel, look at that cool tunnel, isn't that awesome? It starts with a window over it. So the first page is a window page. She stamped, she used, um, covered it with the this front page she covered with scrapbook paper and then you flip it and here's her tunnel look at the tunnel it is so beautiful it's so much prettier in person camera doesn't convey but it's so pretty and then when you flip this over the window now covers that image on the front page so window, another window page that does some really neat stuff she took a vintage typewriter and she typed um, all kinds of facts about butterflies. Butterflies are insects that have large, often brightly colored wings and a conspicuous fluttering flight. Over here, the top speed for most butterflies is 12 miles per hour. So she got all the information off the internet about butterflies and she added it by typing the information and then tearing it and adding it to her pages. So look at this. She used book text. There's a window, picture of a window, some uh, music sheet. She rubber stamped. She did some fun backgrounds on her pages. And then she cut out her circle, added her butterfly on this first page. And then when you flip it, it goes to the next page. So this one is butterflies can see colors that we can't see because they can perceive ultra violet light which is outside the scope of our visual capabilities. Butterflies are the only group of insects that have thousands of tiny scales covering their wings. So she added um, some die cut butterflies and some things out of magazines and rubber stamping and then all these fun facts. Butterflies only live for a few weeks. They migrate in the fall to overwintering sites in California and Mexico. This page is really fun. She did a splatter on this page and did some uh, washi tape down it that had butterflies. Look at these beautiful pages. I just think her book is just so gorgeous. 
Uh, butterflies sleep at night or when the day is cloudy. Adult butterflies rest by hanging upside down from leaves or twigs where they are hidden among the foliage. So she's got butterflies on flowers. Um, they cannot hear, but they do feel vibrations. Butterflies do not feel pain, although butterflies know when they are touched. Their nervous system does not have the pain receptors that register pain as humans know it. Look at these beautiful pages. This is so cute. This is from uh, Madam Butterfly uh, collaboration that I had done. I gave her a little, the little one that was on the main page, and she put that on this page, which is just so cute. When butterflies fly around you, it can mean that your loved ones are trying to connect with you from heaven or are trying to send you a message. The egg is the first stage in a monarch's life where its life gets started. In the wild, a female monarch can lay three to four hundred eggs in a space of a few weeks. They do not grow once they come out of the chrysalis. This butterfly here she did um, with, I have a video on this, on how to make the, these um, fun embellishments where you use wax and you melt it and stamp images. I've got a video on that. I'll see if I can link that to this video, but that's how she made that butterfly. Butterflies are like happiness. The more you chase it, the more you it will elude you. But if you turn your attention to other things, it'll come and sit on your shoulders. Look at this beautiful book. So proud of her. This is just awesome. Butterflies only weigh as much as two rose petals that can fly thousands of miles. So as we're turning these pages, this hole gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Butterfly's wingspan ranges from a half an inch to almost 12 inches, depending on the butterfly. Female butterflies are usually able to engage in mating on the day of emergence, but males do not normally mate for several days. Butterfly wings are transparent. She used some um, peel and stick vellum butterflies here that uh, look vintage and they're just beautiful on this page. She did them over here too. And a rubber stamp that makes this texture. There are about 17,500 species of butterflies in the world. Around 750 are in the United States. The most common butterfly in the U.S. is the cabbage white. So she has white butterflies on that page. The purpose of a butterfly is to pollinate plants in your garden. Monarch, but monarch butterflies possess 1,200 eyes. These facts are so cool. The vision of butterflies appears to be excellent, especially within short distances. They are able to fly with precision in areas of many obstacles. I love this. She did this with a die cut. I think she die cut this strip and then she put washi tape underneath it. It's beautiful. The blood of butterflies and other insects is a colorless, clear liquid. Butterflies are friendly, charming, persuasive, and optimistic. This one she did uh, stamping in the background to make these beautiful looking mandala backgrounds. Beautiful. It's so pretty. I love it. Butterflies use their feet to taste. Here she put a silk flower stamping. This right here, this is so cool. This butterfly page on the last page of the tunnel that shows through the tunnel. So this card here, um, this card is so beautiful. It's dimensional. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn it sideways a little bit. And it came from a greeting card 
that was my great grandmother's, her grandmother's. The card is over a hundred years old. She had it saved in her trunk. She pulled it out and used it in her butterfly journal. Isn't that the most beautiful thing ever? And I love it because instead of being hidden away, you can see it, feel it, and it's just kind of a touchstone from my great grandmother to my grandmother to my mother and I just think this is just so beautiful. I just think it's beautiful. Um, my mom is in her 80s. She loves to do art. She draws. She paints. And she makes altered books and all kinds of handmade journals. And she's just so artistic. And she follows along with my videos. And we uh, art together via Skype. So this is when she showed me this book, I just had to share it with all of you. So here's this last page. Look at this. It is so pretty. She used a um, metal die, die cutting die, and she double cut this butterfly. And then the top layer, she just glued in the middle to make them dimensional on the page. She used little, these little dies that look like um, little doilies and cut them out of really fancy paper to corner it. There's scrapbook paper down on the base of the page. She collaged these from napkin. This is from napkin. And layered this from, um, I think this is from a card too. These flowers are from a card. And then she stamped a little textury background. So that is the final page in her book. So beautiful. Beautiful. So I just wanted to show she didn't have a way of showing off her book and it's going to set in her living room for her to enjoy. But um, I just I saw it and said that's that's got to be shown because it's going to inspire some people. So let's do a video and show mom's beautiful journal. She put her heart and soul into it and I just think it's fabulous. I love her tunnel. So make a tunnel book, get an altered book, get a book to alter, pull out some pages, put your sets together. You can make a window up front, cut your circles graduating down in, stagger them with things, find a theme. I love how she added um, the information about butterflies to just make it even more fun and interesting, like it's almost a book not only to look at, but to read fun facts about butterflies. So good job, mom. You did great. It's beautiful. And hopefully this will inspire somebody to go make some art because art soothes the heart. So thanks for stopping by.